got our clean eating plan today. So this is just basic stuff that you can buy at the grocery store. This is not a diet, this is a lifestyle. So I'm gonna go over a few of the things that were put in our cart. So um, these are above ground veggies, proteins, very, very low carb. And you're looking at healthy fats. So in here, this is kind of what my daughter and I are eating for the week. Um, I don't eat meat, so I'm gonna do some of the um, meatless stuff. She's gonna do some of the meat stuff. And we're doing all um, clean, wild caught, and organic as much as possible. So if you wanna zoom over here, we've got um, the cage free organic eggs. And uh, we have, we're making tacos, so we're gonna just do corn taco shells. You're not doing flour, um, just taco seasoning. And with that, we can do either the um, crumbles, which is the artificial meat, or we could do the ground turkey for your protein. And then we're gonna add in, you don't wanna do tomatoes, um, but you're gonna add in a, like a, a healthy kind of cheese or a, a cheese-free topping um, to top that off. And you can do organic sour cream on there for this week to get your healthy fats in. Um, you can snack on almonds. We have different kind of snacks in here. Where, oh, here they are. Um, dried cranberries are good. They're, um, as long as they're not sweetened. Raw sunflowers, not the roasted because you want the oil in it. Um, dried cherries in moderation. Um, raw coconut without the sugar. For lunches, we have here um, the light tuna in water. I don't eat mayonnaise, so I use the veginase, but you can use regular mayonnaise as well. Um, you can do like the little chicken nuggets, or you can do real chicken nuggets. I just avoid a lot of breading. Um, I do that just for a meat substitute. You can do real chicken. This is um, the smart chicken without the antibiotics in it. Um, you can do lots of citrus fruits and uh, above ground veggies like bro uh, Brussels sprouts. We have uh, some regular zucchini squash here. Lots of avocados to get those healthy fats and proteins. And we have red uh, pepper here for um, garnishes. And over here we have a couple different other options um, for sides. You got frozen peas. These aren't organic, but you know you're not going to be eating a whole lot of them. And spaghetti squash is a great option. Very simple. We have in here um, some of the lunch meat that I recommend. And this one is nitrate free. So you want to avoid eating nitrates. This is just the basic um, oven roasted turkey without preservatives. Um, you've got the turkey bacon for my daughter. <laughs> this is the turkey bacon. Then I, I have the morning star bacon, which I like that one a lot. This one is meat free. And my daughter's gonna do um, breakfast with turkey sausage and eggs. I'll be doing the meat free sausage link as a version for that. And we have a sharp cheddar, which is a good cheddar. This one is on sale, only reason I'm buying it, but normally I buy the organic cheddar or the, um, the Tillamook brand. And then we have also an option for dairy-free cheddar. You can put that on top of your um, salads and tacos. For your um, drink in the morning, you can do a uh, juice plus smoothie with no bananas. You just wanna do only greens and veggies, like uh, spinach and stuff. Or you could do um, a hot drink and then you can use, to get your healthy fats in, you can use organic whipping cream and just no sugar. So you wanna avoid sugar, you can use a liquid stevia or powdered stevia. And my daughter drinks milk, so we have the um, organic full fat milk for that. And I do coconut water and coconut milk and things like that. Um, Aspen, is there anything you wanna add to our video? Any, any plans for cooking special stuff for this week? No. All right. <laughs> well, thanks anyway. And we appreciate you watching our video. Bye.